Good morning, children. How are you all? Fine. Okay. In our yesterday's class, what we have completed? We have completed underground stems. Now you know stem which grow above the ground, isn't it? That stem stands straight. It supports the plant. It gives support to the leaves, fruit, flowers, isn't it? The stem bears leaves, fruit, flowers. Yesterday we have completed some stems which grow underground. Why? Because such stems store food. So which are they? Can you give the example? Yesterday what you have drawn and color it? Very good. Potato. Then ginger, garlic, onion, sugar cane. So these are also stem but they grow under the ground. Some underground stem. See children, many of you drawn the figure but not properly. Those who have not given, not drawn properly and not color, again I have replied you. Color it and send, draw it again. For those students, you have to draw it again. Keep practice of drawing that figure. And many of you have still not submitted FA1 answer sheet to the office room. So please submit all the subject answer sheet to the school office. Now children, let us start. Question answers which is related to the stem, the plant life in that we are still learning about the stem. So let us complete the question and answer. So what is our today's work? That is answer the following question. Answer the following See children, I have written answer the following question. So all of you keep your pencil down, look at the board, we will study first. So what is the first question? What is stem? What is a stem? Answer is the part of a plant. What is stem? The part of a plant which grows above the ground is a stem. So which you can see above the ground that the thin like stick you see above the ground that we call as stem. So which part? Of a plant we call stem which is above the ground. So what is stem? The part of a plant which grows above the ground is a stem. Got it now? Understood? What is a stem? The part which you see above the ground, growing above the ground. It bears leaf, flower, fruits, bird. So and makes it also helps a plant to stand straight. This is what in our next question and answer we will read about the function of the stem. But the meaning and of the stem is the part of a plant which grows above the ground is a stem. Second one, mention some stems grow under the ground. So which were those stems yesterday that we have already drawn. So, now you understood? Can you name? Potato. See, many of your writing spelling potato wrong. P-A-T-O-T-O. -O -O. So, wrong. P-O-T-A-T-O. -T -T -O. Potato. Onion. O-N-I-O-N. Onion. Ginger. G-I-N-G-E-R. Ginger. Garlic. G-A-R-L-I-C. Garlic. And sugar cane. S-U-G-A-R. C A N E sugar cane. They are some underground stems. So mention some underground stems. They are potato, onion, ginger, garlic, sugar cane. They are underground stem. Now see children, the question one, what is stem? And question number two. After writing question and answer, you have to leave one line. Then question number two. Answer, you have to leave one time. So first copy these two question answers in your notebook. I will wrap the board and give you the next one. So you have to write very neatly. Okay, first copy it down. See children, I have read the board and written the third question. What is the third question here? What are the functions of this stem? 
So what the stem functions? Answer function F U N C E I O N S functions of this stem S T E M stem are first one it help I T it help H E L P help the plant P L A N T plant to stand S T A N D stand firm F I R M firm firm is straight. It helps the plant to stand straight or firm. Second one, it provide I T it provide P R O V I D E provide support S U W P O R T support for leaves L E A V E S leaves flowers F L O W P R S flowers and fruits F R U ITS fruits. Second, what is the function of the stem? It provides support. Means it gives support for leaves, flowers, and fruits. Because the stem moves upward. Same way from side the leaves come out. The leaves then produce some flowers. The flowers then they bear the fruits. And before that, we see small birds coming up. So it provides support for leaves, flowers, and and the third function of the stem is it also carries I T A also A L S O also carries C A double R I E S carries water W A T E R water comma minerals M I N E R A L S minerals and food F double O D food it also carries water mineral and food prepared P R E P A R E D prepared by the leaves by the leaves L E A V E S leaves to the different D I W F E R E N T different parts of a plant. So what is the third function of the stem? It also carries water, minerals and food. And the food is prepared by the leaves to the different parts of the body and it sends to the different parts of the plant. Understand? Not body, plant. So once again we will read the question and answer. What are the function of this stem? Answer is function of this stem are it helps the plant to stand firm, straight. It provides support for leaves, flowers and fruits. Third one. It also carries water, minerals and food prepared by the leaves to the different parts of the plant. So this is your third question and answer. Note down your homework children. Homework, write the class work one time and afterwards send homework one time. Like this way you will read also. Write very neatly one time and by heart it. And your handwriting should be very neat and tidy. Now in our next class children, one, there are two activity. So one activity of that potato I will do for you. But still I didn't get that tuberose plant. If possible, it is, I am searching here and there but still I didn't get. So one activity I will do and show to you. But if you have a tuberose in your garden, you can try this by looking at another activity. So that we will read the stem part and we will complete the activity tomorrow. So today just complete the stem part, send your homework within time and those who have not submitted your answer, F1 answer sheet for all the subject, please submit it to the school office. Okay children, have a nice time. Bye.